Hmm. I'm feeling a presence in the room. Wondering who could be behind it. Hey! It worked! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, brother? Bonjour, my beautiful friend. Welcome to Soapunk TV, the channel of the Golden Path. I'm your host, Kronos Hotshiner, and I have the pleasure to be with my dear friend, Danny, the space insect. Hello, world. <laughs> he got a YouTube channel, link in the descriptions, and today we're going to break our fast, and this is our recap. So I'm at uh, my 10th day of fasting. What a legend, what a legend. Me, personally, I've been for eight days. It's been a, an amazing journey, guys. We actually feel quite quite okay. I'm pretty sure that when you get to this point, you can just proceed onwards as much as you can. My body is <laughs> kind of used to it. I mean, uh, I'm already in this lifestyle, let's say. But yeah, we decided that we need the energy. We need to do some stuff and we got to a lot of conclusion, conclusions. So, yeah. Yeah, do you want to go a little bit like what I'm were the, like, the most marking... <laughs> steps yeah. in your journey yeah so pretty much i just want to say two words with how i started the fast i went through a catharsis where my body just collapsed and in the time where i was in the most pain i just down started a download i got a download of information which told me just go on a fast yeah because you wanted to heal physical issues yeah like i had a physical issue which was just agonizing pain and I just got the voice of God which told me please just don't eat stop cleanse yourself fully so I started out and it has been uh, like a wave you know how life has the ups and downs it was just like that on the fast one day I would be kind of fine the next I would be just dead and throughout the day I would have periods where I would feel like nothing has happened but then and, uh, in like one hour I'm like laying down and I cannot get myself up and I cannot uh, breathe even. So wow, it has been such a journey. Well, mm -hmm. w which one of those days was the hardest for yeah. you, you think? So I would say that the first couple of days, like maybe day two, was really strange because for the first time I felt like I was 100 years old. <laughs> I couldn't get up. My body was just like, uh, I, I, what's happening? I couldn't breathe. I couldn't walk. It was just like everything started with a delay, with a lag. I was lagging for like 10 yeah. minutes. I want to do something and I'm like just standing there. I'm like, come on, come on. Come on. Uh, okay, let's wait a bit. Come on. <laughs> I can relate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fully. But after that, so it has been like one day I would feel better but then the next day I would feel again down but then throughout the day I would feel good or bad I would have again periods of feeling good or bad so it was just like constantly a wave circulating and but generally yes your body is not in condition for physical activity you wow well, I did we both did physical activity Try, yeah, yeah. we were constantly working here we were like cutting wood and stuff and whatnot uh, but uh, generally speaking it is a period to really cleanse yourself feel yourself feel your inner consciousness really connect and it's such an amazing uh, I don't know how to even call it it's a journey but it's your spirit having a battle with the with the physical not really a battle but a, a bit of a or reprogram re, like yeah like learning how to operate again yeah. with different frequencies or different like yeah it's like this is exactly what happens when you fast it's like you your body stop using glucose stop using sugar that you give it by food and you start to use the fat that you have stored so it's like a different way of to operate ex exactly and, and i really feel it that hence the hence the lag hence the like oh how is this am i in my body yet yeah, or what's yeah, going yeah. on <laughs> man i was feeling how my body internally was starting to do some processes which I'd never felt before like some organs were doing some stuff oh, I know, yeah. mainly like my <laughs> my belly and stuff were constantly doing some stuff uh, it was wow 
and, nice. and we're so glad, so glad so of me, this experience. So me on my side, I think the hardest uh, day was day four, because I'm used to fast. Uh, I do intermittent fasting most often, and I'm used to fast three days once in a while. But day four were, was the, the worst because this is uh, also that was the last day that I had poops, <laughs> which was quite disgusting actually. But also it was the day when I had my last strong anxiety attack uh, as I woke up in the morning. But then after that it was from day five to seven, I was so tired. And you know the cycles that you talk about? Uh, for me, it's I think they're much longer in my mm -hmm. metabolism. It's like when I woke up in the morning, Wow, this is so slow to wake up and to, to yeah. emerge. Yeah. And then eventually during the day, I'm like, boom, it feels nice. You know, yesterday when I had the privilege to exchange um, a healing conversations with one of our friends, uh, wow, I feel so refreshed after that. But before that, I was lagging for, I don't know, three hours in front of the sun, like, please wake up. <laughs> and I wasn't had the energy to do my routine, which I did actually uh, every day those last three days. And um, so, yeah, so the thing is that you, you you received the intuition to break your fast yesterday. Yeah, so pretty much what I have to say to everyone is do not stubbornly hold on to an idea just for the sake of it. Always ask the present moment in your intuition what is right for the moment. I was having the idea of a 10 day fast for sure. And I can actually do it. I can even do more. But my intuition just said, enough. You've managed to go get the conclusions you need. And I like wrote down this super big list of things. And it pretty much got me to the place where I dreamt of being. You know how we're constantly uh, trying to be spiritual, how we're trying to be in this life. We're constantly reading about it. But I'm pretty sure that not much are actually doing everything that they know. They know, they know it by text, but throughout the day they wake up, they check their phone, they start wasting energy and whatnot. Yeah. What I started doing recently, guys, and I was also the guy who would, who would just read, know it and not do it. I would do it a bit, but it's not like it's my lifestyle. But now, throughout these days, through the slowness of life, I learned how precious this is. And what I started doing... As I just started with, I started doing prayers in the morning, then I do a meditation, then I watch a lecture, and just the slow face of life really got me into this. And starting you there like this, then going out in the sun, having some warm water to cleanse you, it's just everything throughout your day will be a thousand times better if you just implement this amazing morning. and. And this is how I live my life till the end. This is the best thing that has happened to me. I felt it, I'm feeling it right now. And there's no reason for me to ever go back. So please guys, if you decide one day, this is an amazing way to teach you discipline, to teach you the best way of how you can live. Yeah, about what you say first, uh, it's very important, I think, uh, to remember that God is in <laughs> we have God is in the details so it's like the little things that are so simple that they're maybe so simple that we tend to forget about them and we tend to look for something more complicated to do every day that we say oh, it's too simple it can't work no this is simple as you said all those little routines and also this part about like this journey teaching you discipline definitely for me it's a journey about going back to the present moment. I remember something you said when I met you at day six for me, it was day four for you. You said, I felt like I'm in school and I'm just waiting for the recess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like I'm waiting for school to end. And one thing you said is that slow is fast. And I learned this so much, guys. Yeah, it's a Navy SEALs quote, uh, Navy SEALs creed. It's, they say slow is smooth. And smooth is fast, it's like it's better to do some, one thing good and, and well than to do it again and again because you've been in precipitation. One example I have for you guys that I would want you to implement is how you tackle everything. How much of yourself you put in the things you do. Because we have this autopilot that is constantly doing stuff, 
and we just ignore the detail we ignore the present moment for example when we eat when we eat we're just eating we're yeah, talking yeah. we're doing stuff oh my gosh if you get into the food when you're eating one bite can be equal to 10 meals and by the way we're going to record ourselves having our very first meal uh, <laughs> so stay tuned subscribe to the channel and check the video it's gonna be a very short funny one i guess just oh, to definitely. see we're gonna make a blessing because also one of the strong intention that we had you and me because we used to be overweight before yeah like i, I used to be obese and when I was a teenager. Music. And one of our intention through this fast is to reprogram our relationship with food in a more exactly. conscious way, in a more, yeah, sacred way. So it's gonna be fun. So yeah, that's it, patience. So now, because if you follow my last video, this one here, there, boom, 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 like appearing on YouTube, um, you know that I've been, un I underwent this journey of fasting in order to see if it can heal the, physical anxiety symptom that I went through and um, so far I'm all right but I'm gonna make another video this one start to get a bit long where I'm going to make a big overall recap about my experience through anxiety attacks and also fastings because they're very similar actually in the teaching of patience being with the body here now even though the mind wants to be tomorrow or the day after. So that's it. Very last things I want to say. If you want to fast, guys, please be responsible. Uh, don't do... I mean, I'm going to put a link in the description to the subreddits, the fasting subreddits. Check the resources, check the science, make sure that you're safe and healthy. We've been drinking some snake juice every day. So we've been taking electrolytes with water, nothing else, <laughs> because this is... The only thing that your body really needs some electrolytes in order for the cells to, to work properly. So do your research and you're gonna be all right. <laughs> Last word? Oh guys, just know everything is love <laughs> and you start to feel it much more when you go through such a journey. You actually start not to chase the thing you're chasing but to live in it. It's all around you. I haven't taken anything and since I started fasting, it's like I'm on something constantly. Yeah, you feel high, yeah? yeah? Even now people around me are like smoking and such. I'm like, I don't need this. Mm. I'm much higher than you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm definitely not interested about taking anything at all. So yeah, guys. Uh, thank you so much for your attention. Please like, subscribe, share if you want to support the Soul Punk TV project. I love you so much. We send you all our blessings. Love and light, guys. Love and light.